Hey there, it is Michelle Martin Dobbins, the High Priestess of DailyAlchemy.com and um, I wanted to share with you today some of my Reiki experiences. I've been, um, I do, Reiki is just like a part of my life so I don't think about it that much. It's just like I do Reiki on myself every day and I send Reiki to people um, every morning, every night. Um, and I do Reiki on my family members and on my food and just, it's like so ingrained that I don't really think about it because I've been doing it for so many years. So I kind of forget like how cool Reiki is. And um, I wanted to share some of my cool experiences with Reiki. And I realized that um, like so many of mine is just like, a day-to-day -day improvement but I one of my clients had an experience that I wanted to share because I um, found it really cool so she is really into genealogy and I did a Reiki session with crystals on her a live and in-person session which I don't do a whole lot of but um, I was doing Reiki with her and the funny thing is I just didn't as I was doing it, I was just trusting, allowing the energy to flow, but I didn't feel a whole, whole lot happening on my end. So, but I was just, you know, intending that what would happen, what would need to happen would happen and the energy would go where it needs to go. But afterwards, um, after the session, she said, she was just really emotional and she's like, I can't, I can't tell you what happened right now, but I will email you later. And um, so as I was saying, she was very into genealogy and she takes it very personally, like finding the stories from her family tree, not just finding names and dates, but trying to like track out their stories. And she often tells me that she can hear her ancestors like calling to her, like pick me, pick me. And so while we were doing that, while I was giving her Reiki, and she was going through this session, um, she saw um, her grandmother and my grandmother because we are related, we're cousins, and they were both there, and they were both um, doing healing on her, and then she started seeing like all these faces of these different ancestors, and they just were like kind of all coming down and showering her with love. And then a few days after that, she was going through one of her books, um, her genealogy type books, and there was an art rendering in there, and she said it was, it was just like, you know, it was, it was a picture of what she saw, these faces among faces of the ancestors and knew that they were supporting her. And so for me, that was just a really cool validation because even though I didn't do that, I just let the energy come through me to give her Reiki. Um, she had this really cool connected experience with some personal ancestors during the session and with just the multitude of ancestors that she works with and since she spends so much time of her time giving love I guess you know giving validation to them researching their past and their history and saving it it's like they were giving it back to her through this Reiki session which is really cool there's so many things that can happen with Reiki and I know another friend of mine who lives in a forest area said one night as she was going to bed she decided to send out Reiki to like all the forest animals and after she did that when she was going to sleep she could just feel like the energy of all the animals coming and just like sending her love she said it was like all these little that sounds weird squirrel kisses and bunny kisses and all the little forest animals were sending love back to her and that those are my animals, my crazy animals. <laughs> and Reiki can do such cool things. If you have animals, if you have pets, um, uh, dogs, cats, anything, animals respond to Reiki. Actually, <laughs> speaking of animals responding to Reiki, one of the coolest things that I've experienced since, um, I don't know what that is. I'm outside my backyard. It sounds like something is crashing out of the sky. Um, but one of the coolest things that I experienced was um, going to the zoo after um, being attuned to Reiki. And if you walk through a zoo 
and you start giving Reiki, sending Reiki to the animals, it's just amazing. Um, I'm not a big fan of zoos, especially like ones that have small enclosures, but in the times that I've went to the zoo and sent Reiki to the animals, I've just had some really cool experiences where I could almost feel like I could hear what the animals were thinking, but they'll come out. It's like they come out and they just, you know, I always get to see and my kids, all the animals, because when you send them Reiki, if they're laying down, they're going to get up and look around and like, what is that? Because animals sense energy. Um, I mean, lots of us humans do too, but they, are, I think they just have an even stronger sense of energy and um, they feel it and they like it <laughs> and they come they'll just cut like some of them will come just like right up to you so I've had some really cool experiences with like being at the enclosure and the lion is sleeping and you walk up and you start sending Reiki and they get up and they walk up to the edge and <laughs> it's just a really really cool but as I said like these mystical things and these cool things with Reiki are really awesome but for me a lot of it is the day-to-day -day, like relaxation that I get connection with family members that I get um, just like getting ready the headache it's so it's so useful to have this energy one of the things that I love about it is if there's something going on in the lives of somebody that you know um, but you that you feel like you can't do anything about, you can send Reiki to it. So, you know, if somebody is hurting or grieving and there's not much you can do in the physical sense, you can send them Reiki. Um, and, you know, I had, I've heard differences of opinion on Reiki. Some people believe that you should ask permission to send Reiki. And I don't agree with that. And the reason is, I think if you would pray for somebody, you can send Reiki and I don't think most people go around and ask for permission to send prayers or good thoughts or high vibes to somebody so I think that you can send Reiki now even if you don't tell the person that you're sending Reiki they're gonna feel it on an energetic level and they can ex choose to accept it or not accept it and even you know even if they don't know about it um, so for me that's a really nice way to be of support of people that you know might need energetic support, um, you know, and people that you love and you care for and you know they're going through a hard time. And it, it may not be appropriate to say anything and it, there may not be anything you can do in physical real life, you can send them Reiki. And even if you're doing stuff for them in physical real life, you can send Reiki. So, um, and if you don't know a whole lot about Reiki, it's just an energy healing method. It was, um, downloaded as it were or received in meditation by Dr. Yasui a long long time ago <laughs> I think in the late 1800s um, the story is told that he was trying to figure out he had went to meditation to find out how Jesus healed people I'm not so sure if that was totally true because he was from Japan and I'm not sure um, we're told like there are stories that he was Christian but he was probably more of an Eastern religion given that he was in Japan as possible I think sometimes in the West we tell that story just to make it a little bit more palatable <laughs> over here but um, either way like the origins don't matter that much because if you've worked with it you will feel that it's a really nice gentle healing energy it does no harm um, so you can't go wrong you can always send Reiki and in if it's not accepted or it's not, I wouldn't say not needed, but if the person doesn't accept it, that's fine. But it's not gonna harm anybody. It, there's nothing negative to it. And it's really easy to learn to do. The one thing about Reiki is it's passed from an initiated teacher to a student because there are attunements involved. And then you have a lineage. So I have a lineage where I was trained as a master um, Reiki practitioner. And there are three levels. Some people do different ways with more levels, but the classic is level one, level two, and then master's level. So level one can just touch people um, and give Reiki. Level two can send it distance. And level three is where you are passing attunements and teaching. So I'm really excited because a lot of the people in my Daily Alchemy Premium group wanted to learn Reiki and I was teaching Reiki for a while 
I had kind of pulled back and they're like, bring the Reiki back. So it's like, okay, I'm going to bring the Reiki back. So everybody that's in there is going to get all three of those attunements over the next three months. So I'm really excited about doing that. Um, and I'm giving out a free distance Reiki. Um, I did one on a live stream, but I wanted to do a really more focus because sometimes if things are going on, I can't focus as much in the live moment. So I'm going to see if I can put the link in there where you can get the free distance Reiki. It's an audio and then you just have to listen to the audio um, and intend to receive the healing. I suggest that you, you know, just kind of close your eyes and tune in. It's not real long audio either. It is like um, seven minutes maybe. Let me see if I can find uh, how I can. If I can put the link in here for people who want to get the free Reiki healing. Yay! Let me see. Yay, there it is. So if you want that free Reiki healing, all I have to do is click on that link. Um, I do ask for your name and your email to send you the healing and then you can stay on my news list to get um, other goodies or you can unsubscribe once you've got the um, healing. It's totally up to you. It is all quite cool. Um, so that that's a little bit of my Reiki stuff. If you just hopped on and you missed the beginning, um, I shared some cool stories of my experiences with Reiki and um, one of my clients' experiences with um, Reiki that were, um, I don't know what the word is. I'm kind of tired. I'm filling in this week for my um, one of my employees is having a baby and she went into labor yesterday afternoon. So now I have to be her and me. And she's much better at being her. So I am going to go finish my cooking my dinner and kick back and probably send some Reiki to myself and to her and the new baby and chill. So what, whatever you're doing right now, have a magical rest of your day. And um, yeah, go get that free Reiki training.